Alrighty, welcome viewers to another How to Play Armada on TTS. Uh, in this video, we are going to be going over uh, spawning, deploying, and uh, setting dials and all that sort of fun jank. So uh, let me load up the game here. Armada, yes. Script, there we go. Okay, delete those ships, we do not need them. Uh, let's see, I'm going to load us a couple of practice lists to start off with. I'll load myself my Corvette list uh, you saw earlier, when I, which you saw me make. Uh, I've just got it here without the upgrades because at the moment it's not really important to uh, have the upgrades right now for this demonstration. I'll also load up some Imperial ships. So I've just got three Imperial Star Destroyers here just for, you know, a little bit of fun. Move them to the side. Okay, so I'm just going to spawn these three. Spawn those. And then I will also spawn these guys. Something went wrong over here. These didn't spawn for some reason. I'll do that again. Uh, helps if you spell the words correctly. Speaking of words being spelled correctly, whatever you do, do not rename your ships and save your list. You will not be able to spawn them. It becomes a nightmare. Uh, so I'm going to spawn uh, more A-wings because I like A-wings. Let's go and spawn five of them. No, I'll just spawn four. Space four. There you go, four A-wings. Cool. All right, let's get into this demonstration. Now, before we deploy uh, ships, I uh, should get obstacles out, I suppose. Let's get out some obstacles. We do need those. Obstacles in the bag over here, marked obstacle. Should not push those buttons when I shouldn't. Go. So that's your obstacles in that little bag there. You can basically spawn as many of these bags you want if you want a lot of obstacles to have a bit of fun, but we'll just start with the basic ones today. Uh, I'll just quickly put these on the table anywhere because, uh, yeah, it doesn't really matter where we put them for this demonstration. So no strategy here involved whatsoever. We'll just place them like that. All right, once all obstacles are placed, we highlight them all, and then you can either push the L button to lock them, or you can go toggle lock. And that way, when you put... When you go to land on the ships, maneuver, do anything with those obstacles, you get close to them, they will not move, they are locked in position. Okay, so, now, before we can deploy the ships, uh, we have a problem. We have four corvettes here, and we have three Star Destroyers. How do we tell them apart when it comes time for shooting? There are two ways you can do it. You can either right-click, and usually what I like to do, I don't usually like to cover them, um, color them, but you can go CR91, and there we go, he's been changed, now it's CR91. This Corvette here, we can go and change his name to CR92. And so on, so on, so on. I'm not going to do the other ones. You get the idea, you can change them. Um, you can actually change anything, really. You can change the name of the squadrons. You can change the name of everything. If you want to have like more fancy ship names or use some of the ship names from the EU, you can go and do that. Uh, but yeah, I'm not going to get that complicated today. So, either, but we still need to, if you want to do a visual way of identifying uh, which ships are which, uh, the developers of TTS have thought about this. If we go into blocks here, get out some lovely green triangles. Can get one, two, three, and four. Here we go, four green triangles. Now, how do four green triangles help you determine which ship is which? Well, the green triangles don't, so much as what color you can change them to. So I'm going to put one in each one of them. So what I'll do, I'm going to change this Corvette here. If we go to color tint, and we have a bit of fun here. Let's make this Corvette here green. We move this over to here. We move this over to here. Click the apply button. And there you go. We now have one green block with one green Corvette. Looking pretty there. All right, let's see about changing the colors for the rest of these things. So let's go color tint. Let's go make a lovely red Corvette. Little red Corvette. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, I'll try not to subject you to too much of my singing. Uh, let's see, color tint. Now, hey, if you know what your codes are, 
or if you remember them from when you just inputted the one, to make sure you've got the exact same color, you can just click apply. And there we go, we have a red one. All right, we're gonna do the same for this one here. We're gonna color tint this block here. Yeah, take the easy way, push the blue. Be helpful if I saw those colors earlier. Color tint, blue, let's go okay. So you can do this many different ways, as you can see. Color tint, uh, let's see, we got blue, we got, ooh, purple. My wife's favorite color is purple. So I'm sure she'd approve of having a purple Corvette out there on the field. Color tint and purple. Okay, apply. Cool, all right. So uh, yeah, now you can identify when is your shooting targets so that way you can keep track of which ship is which. You can do it with just by naming them. By naming Corvette one, obviously you'll have to also go into the card and also rename this here as well, uh, CR91, because what's the point in, well, CR91234 helps, but if you've got a CR91 and CR92, if you're one of those people who like to be cheeky and confuse your players, like what I'm sure everyone knows Mars likes to do, then yeah, you try and do things like that. Uh, so over here with the Star Destroyers, um, we probably will do the same thing. Well, what I'll do, I'll just quickly go color tint. I'll just change one to purple. The change, let's go make one pink because you know the empire loves pink, doesn't it? And then there we go, color tint, uh, pink, 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 apply. There we go, two pink ones. Oh no, we don't want two pink ones, that's just silly. Gray, how's already gray, black, red. Do we want red? Teal, yeah, let's do teal. Teal's a wonderful color, isn't it? Now, if we move this over, I'm pretty sure if we go here, if we change color tint on the ship card as well, change it to purple, apply. Sort of puts a little bit of a purple highlight around it, but you can't really see it, I don't think. It's sort of, it, it's sort of there. You can kind of see there's a little bit of purple there, but you're really, if you're gonna do it, you gotta get those blocks out and change them to purple as well. So I'm pretty sure on the blacks, yeah, it's still gray. So it's easier if you just do it that way. Just get the blocks out, and that way you've got little pretty blocks at the front. You can use the triangles or rectangles, whichever one you like. Uh, all right, so deployment. Uh, let's pretend we got superior positions, shall we? Uh, and the ISDs all have to deploy first. So we're going to drop one IST here because it tactically makes sense to do so. One IST here and one IST here. And I'm gonna deploy them all at speed three because things like to go fast. Once you deploy them, that is when you push the shields button. Do not push the shields button beforehand. You The shields will lock the ships down and lock the shield dies to them. If you try and, if you hit the shields button here, then you try and move it, move the ship over there. It won't, you unlock it, you move the ship, the dials will stay behind. It's just a nightmare. So do not push the shields button before you deploy your ships. Okay, so we've got to sell some superior positioning here happening. So time to have some fun and work out what's the best approach to make these pretend TRC Corvettes attack it. Oh, I forgot one very important thing. Speed dials. So we've got endless amount of speed dials over here. So we'll drop one next to this ship. Pushing number two to change it to speed two. Do I say two or three? No, let's do three. Go okay, three. Fast is fun. There we go, we push the number three while we highlight it. If we zoom right in on it, as you can see, I push M for magnify, you can see right there, it's got the number three, the number three. And then we can go and drag another one. You can also do copy and paste, you know, as a control Z, control P, whatever, but yeah, I'm not that good with these things. Uh, highlight it, when you see all those dots, we push the number three and I'll push the M button to magnify and you can see set at speed three. All right, so we are going to set the Corvettes because Corvettes like to go fast. You know what, we're going to deploy one here. We'll have them all go fast and sweep around the corner. I'll change some perspective here. Now, just remembering the keys you want to use to go left, was it right? Left, up, down is the A, S, D, W. And the up, down, left, right keys will just rotate your perspective. You can go into uh, configure, if you want to change it, go into configure here and controls and you can have a bit of play with it if you really want to. 
I've thought about it many times, but the more I play, I'm just starting to get used to it, so I'm just leaving it as is. Uh, so we deployed him. He wants to go fast at speed four. Uh, speed four. And you know what? Let's pretend there's Agate on there. And I'm going to give him a brace token, because why wouldn't you give a Corvette a brace token if you had Agate on it? There we go. So deploy. That's when brace. That's when you get the brace token for Agate. And just kind of put it over here so it doesn't get in the way. Okay, uh, so let's do another Corvette now. Corvette number two, he can go right here. Uh, we're going to deploy him there. I'm happy with that. Uh, let's see, control C, control V. There we go, speed four as well. Uh, let's go do that. There we go, I'll do it for the next two Corvettes to save myself a little bit of time here. Drop one Corvette there, deploy your shields. Next Corvette, uh, we'll put him behind, so that way they can kind of follow him behind. Yeah, that's good. Four, cool. All right, so I've got a lovely transport over here. These things can't go speed four, sadly. Be nice if they could. But I want him to get close with some A-wings. I'm gonna use my, and again, you can use Q and E here to orientate the ships, or you can just use your mouse dial. Um, and we can just drop that, say, so I'm gonna drop him there. So he can kind of sort of skirt around the outside of the board there. Maybe he's got comms there. Maybe he's got booster comms. I don't know. He's got something. But we're going to just blow him there. Hit that shields button. Sweet. Uh, let's see. If I do control V, then there should still be a dial. Yes, there is. Uh, I'm going to set him at speed 2. He doesn't need to go quite so fast. Uh, then I've got the lovely torpedo frigate here who likes to come in after those TRCs have uh, done their fire. I'm going to point him back here. Shields, uh, he can go speed four as well, keeping up with everybody else. And all right, so that's all my ships done. Now it's time to deploy some squadrons. All right, uh, so to get the range to know how far out you can deploy your squadrons, if you push this little R button on the ship, it gives you these range bands here. These are one, two, three, four, five. And we are going to start deploying some squadrons. So I have Shara Bay, I have Mr. Psycho Tycho. And I've got the four A-Wings. Okay, so I'm going to start off by getting these four A-Wings. If I put them in such an array before I take them out to the field, like so, I can select them all, pick them all up, and I'll just drop them all here at once. Uh, I'll probably move this one under the station. Oop, don't want to color change that tab yet. We'll get to that when we talk about squadrons. Come on, speak up. No, you must be locked. There we go. Sweet, so there we go, I'll place that squadron there. I will get my last two aces here. I will also place them probably over here at the back. Even though they should be placed at the front. All right, uh, now if the game doesn't do it like it's done, it did it for that one, didn't do it for the rest of them for some reason. Uh, once you're happy with where your squadrons are, Highlight them all, push L, and that will lock them in place. So if you drop a maneuver tool or something in front of it, uh, they won't move, they will stay where they are. If you don't do it, don't stress, as long as you don't bump them, uh, they will lock themselves after you do the first movement. Okay, so we've got everything deployed here, so it is time to set some dials. Okay, so I am now going to have some fun here. When you come into the game, if you're the host, it automatically sets you as white, so you will find all your dials in the, box, in the white box here. That you can choose from. If you're not happy with that box and you want a different box, then I'm going to change over to red because, oh wait, I can't. <laughs> uh, yeah, if you want to change a box, do that before you spawn your ships uh, because then it's you're stuck with white. Otherwise, uh, yeah, make sure you when you come into the game, pick which box you want to play with and get your dials out first. Otherwise, you are just going to give yourself a nightmare. Dials will not set to those ships if you do not get them from the same box. You are selected from up here. You can see Dancing Monkey, so I'm white. I could change, not team, change color. I can pick any of these other colors here to be, but if I do, I will not be able to set the dial. So I'll just leave myself as white for now. Okay, so we've got the dials over here. I'll just zoom in on this. Pushing the Z button gives me a straight zoom in. Uh, so you got Repair, Nav, Confire, and Squadron. Okay, so time to decide who's getting who. Well, I think we all know what Corvettes get. Um, yeah, I'm just going to take four of these dial to 
three and four of these dials and I'm just gonna place all these on the Corvette because what do the Corvettes do? They navigate. They don't pretty, pretty much don't do anything else, do they? All right, so I'll uh, come over here and zoom in close again. Oh, that was a zoom out, I didn't zoom out for last time. Push the Z button and here we go. All right, so this, this dial here to this ship. If you bring the dial and highlight it over the back part of the ship, TTS will grab it and place it onto the ship. So that way it's always there. Uh, then if you wanna know what your dial is, you push the C button, you see that little check box, you see, ah, commands for CR, Cor for CR90 Corvette A is a navigate. Now I'm going to place one of these on each of my ships, there we go. You know the ship has grabbed it and it's gonna place it on the ship correctly if it turns like that color there turns to gray and let's down. All right, cool. Uh, I'll pick a squadron command for that transport. So I'll come on the side here, grab a squadron command for him. So I'll drop that onto him. There we go, place it nice and on the back. Alrighty, so over here, this guy here, he takes two dials. How do you deal with two dials? Well, luckily enough, TTS does that for you. Now, uh, so what I'll do, I'm just gonna do a repair first and then probably nav so that we can bank the token and then afterwards he can use that navigate to get a bit of a click or slow down or do some fun. So first dial you wanna put down on that ship will be a navigate. Then you can take your second dial here and I'll probably zoom in a bit further so you can see that. Uh, we take the second dial, place it on the top of the ship here when that dial is highlighted and TTS will place that second dial you put on top under the first dial. Uh, if you push the C button here, again, you'll see in the chat there, uh, if I can bring it up so you can see better, there we go, command to MC30 torpedo frigate repair and navigate. So dials are set for him. Uh, we'll now go over and set some dials for the uh, Imperial Star Destroyers over there. Uh, so we are going to give them, let's give them each one repair, one concentrate fire, and then one nav. Okay, so nav is at the top, I hope I remember that. So let's come over the side here, let's spin around. Okay, so nav should be this bottom one here. Now if we go control Z, then if we come over here and push control, oops, I must have pushed the wrong button. Do a rewind of time there. There's our dials, let's bring our dials back over to here. That little rewind button up there, if you do push that by accident, it takes you back 10 seconds. Uh, don't try and do it for ship, for ship we'll, we'll get into that later. Uh, so, uh, Control Z. No, it's Control C. Like, that's what I'm doing it. <laughs> yeah, you can tell mon monkey, monkey tech skills are great, aren't they? It's Control C, you moron. Control C. Cool. Click it off. Control V. And Control V. All right. So, there we go. All right, let's adjust the angle here so we can see them all going to the Star Destroyers. All right, so first one was the nav. Yep, accepted. Second one was the, the repair, then or the concentrate fire. Maybe it was the other way around. Either way, this was the order I wanted them to be in. Let's place one on each. As you can see, it turns them around and makes them all look nice and neat for you so you don't have to stress about trying to make them look pretty yourself. Whoop. Whoop. Come over to this ship so we can see a bit better. All right, let's put it on this one. I might have already got them backwards, mightn't I? We'll have fun. We'll see how it comes out. Cool. All right. So now let's see if I did put them down correctly. So this one here we have repair, navigate, concentrate, fire. Push this little C button over here again. Zoom in a bit closer so we can see that. Uh, C. Uh, repair, navigate, concentrate, fire. And repair, navigate, concentrate, fire. Cool. So we can now move into the first round, which I will show you in a ne in the next video. So yeah, that's pretty much everything for deployment, uh, putting everything down. Uh, there are some like other stuff for your objectives and everything, but I'm not going to go into those into those in these videos. We'll probably do another talk about that. Uh, if you got like all your you know your grab well tokens, they're all there, and then you can move and do all that sort of fun stuff. So uh, I might cover that in another video. This is just basically the basics, so to get you guys going and playing. All right, uh, yeah. If you guys have any questions or comments about anything you see here, please leave them in the in the chat box in the comment section below. 
and I'll get back to them and I'll uh, see you on the next video.